Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to fix this screen. You can't do anything, period. You can't put in any username. It doesn't matter what you do, you're stuck. This is after a clean install for myself. This could be showing up at any time for you. So what you have to do is you have to go down to the bottom corner here. So we're going to hold shift and hit restart. Now we immediately get a window here that says what you want to do. We want to troubleshoot. Then we want to go advanced options. Then we want to go to see more recovery options. Yep, change startup behavior. And then hit restart. This is going to boot us into a menu where we can select safe mode. So after a quick re reboot, we're in uh, this menu. We're going to hit the number four because it, and it's going to boot us into safe mode. We're loading in right now as administrator in safe mode. I got this fun error telling me that it can't find its own desktop. But if we make it into Windows, you uh, press on the keyboard the Windows R and the letter R. So Windows R, it's going to open up Run. And in Run, we're going to put net P L W I Z. Hit enter. It's going to bring this up. And now we have a username administrator. You can add users if you want, but you should be able to reboot now and be able to get into at least administrator. But you can press add, which I'm pressing. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Interesting. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to reboot it right now and see if administrator shows up and I can log into administrator. Also, before you want to reboot, you want to make sure that you enable the administrator account. So you go CMD, uh, sorry, Windows R buttons, and then CMD. Come up here, then you go net user administrator active colon yes that should do it excuse my terrible voice here i got sick while we were filming this um last thing you want to do is make sure you set a password for the administrator so you want to do net user administrator and then the password and then hit enter all right that's all it takes and then that's your new password